Shannon, and today we are going to read stories and sing a song about alligators. Yeah, and you're going to get to make a wobbly alligator today. So I think first, though, how about we stand up and let's sing a song? Can you guys sing a song? Mom, 
and Uncle Alan Smith. Let's see. Alan came from a long line of very scary alligators. He was known throughout the jungle for his scary. Yeah, it's what he did best. Alan would start each day polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing each one of his big scary teeth for at least 10 minutes at a time. After practicing his scary faces in the mirror, can you make a scary face in the mirror? Alan would sneak into the jungle for his morning round of scary. Alan went snap, 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 snap. And Alan went And he said things like, I'm big scary Alan, fear my razor sharp teeth. his false teeth. <laughs> Nobody knew about Alan's false teeth. Good night, Tooth. Twig twins, my scary snappers, Alan would say as he put them away carefully in a super secret hiding place. One morning, Barry the beaver was up early collecting wood and came across a dozing Alan. Terrified that Alan would wake up and gobble him whole, Barry jumped behind a bush. Whew. That was close, thought Barry. Just then, a set of false teeth fell out of the bush with a very familiar snap, snap, snap. Oh. Whose teeth are those? Alan. Those are Alan's teeth, yes. <gasps> hmm. When Alan woke up, his teeth were gone. My teeth, he said. Well, my teeth. <laughs> what can he do? <laughs> Maybe nobody would notice. <laughs> he could still be scary without him, right? Well, he decided to head off into the jungle. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads. He made the monkeys tumble out of the tree. And he made the parrots squawk with <laughs> laughter. <laughs> Alan just wasn't so very scary without his teeth. Snap, snap, good, good. Jungle babies put together. 
He could not stop crying until the next morning when all of the animals turned up at the swamp with Alan's big scary teeth. Yes. Yes. He was happy. Yeah. We'll give you your teeth back, said Frog. Ribbit. Will we? said Alan. On what conditions? Um, Quack! said Parrot. You have to stop scaring us. Quack! But, but what will I do? I don't know how to do anything else. Well, Ribbit, we have an idea about that, Ribbit, said Frog. And so, now every day, after polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing his big scary teeth, Alan heads into the jungle to become the gardener. Snip, 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 snip. Wow! And the hairdresser. Snap, 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 snap. Wow, look at Parrot's hairdo. He looks awesome. And Alan, the dentist. Wow, you'll have to brush your teeth just like this, Frog. But every night, Alan becomes the big, scary storyteller, thrilling the jungle animals with his terrifying tales. <gasps> Says Alan, I love to be scary. That one says the story. And sometimes he even lets Barry the Beaver borrow his teeth. Barry, snap, 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 snap. Barry, look at Barry the Beaver wearing the big snappy teeth. That's so silly. Boys and girls, I think now, let's sing a song. On my cart, I have a cow. What a cow says? Ooh, that's right. What does a cow say? Moo, moo, moo. Yeah. What does a cow say? Moo, moo, moo. Yes. What does a cow say? Around. That's what it's all 
and do show and tell and need to bring something to school for show and tell. But if you ever want to bring an alligator to school, If your teacher tells you to bring something from nature for show and tell, she means a hollow stick, a bird's nest, or some sparkly rocks. She does not want you to bring an If you bring an alligator anyway, your teacher will tell you that alligators are trouble. You'll tell her, it's okay. I know all about alligators. This alligator will be quiet and good. He won't eat anyone. Cross your heart. He'll be good. But during spelling, your teacher will hear laughing. <laughs> That's because the alligator is showing you a funny picture of him eating a cupcake. <laughs> the teacher will write your name on the board. Magnolia. Now you'll have to stand last in line for lunch and you'll take away the crayons from the alligator and tell him, shh, be quiet and wait for show and tell. Then, okay. Terry the Art, an airplane will fly across the room and hit the teacher in the head. Whoopsie. But your teacher will not be amused, and she will draw a check by your name. Magnolia check. And now you'll have to stand for recess. You'll take away the paper from the alligator and order the alligator to be good and wait for show and tell. Can you tell him? Be good and wait for show and tell. I hope this works. But dearie math, you'll notice the alligator is hungry. Ah, no alligator, don't do that. You'll give the alligator three pieces of chewing gum, your favorite chewing gum, and you will beg him, please do not eat anyone. And for Pete's sake, be is that you'll stop him from eating any kids. The bad thing is the alligator will smack and twirl his chewing gum and your teacher will notice. Look at that messy chewing gum. Oh my. Your teacher will draw two checks by your name. Magnolia. Check, check, check. And she'll put an underline. Magnolia. Check, check, check. Underline. Now you'll have to go to the principal's office after school. Who got trouble? During lunch, you won't even get to eat your egg and cheese sandwich because somebody will gobble up everything in your lunchbox except for the crust. Wow. Who ate her lunch? By now, of course, you'll wish that you brought a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some sparkly rocks for show and tell instead of an alligator. By now, you'll wish that you had brought dirt instead of an alligator.
You'll wish oh. the alligator would please just go home. <laughs> well, here's what I would do if I were you. First, at show and tell, you'll sit quietly and listen about hollow sticks and bird's nests and sparkly rocks. Then it will be your turn. You'll tell everyone how alligators are super big, like 12 feet tall. Wow. And how alligators have 74 super sharp teeth. 74? That's a lot. And you'll tell how alligators are super tough. In fact, alligators are so strong and tough that they aren't scared of anything. They will just chop somebody! Except <laughs> other alligators. And you know what else they're afraid of? They're afraid of humans. They're afraid of us. What? What? Yeah, I don't I think it's a lot of trouble. 